welcome to my channel. Today's class will be a 15 minute morning Hatha yoga class that's perfect to do first thing in the morning right after waking up. So let's begin in an easy child's pose, keeping the knees together, fold forward and let your forehead rest to a block or to the floor. You can choose to extend your arms towards the back of your mat, turning your palms upward and keeping the back of your hands flat on the ground. Let your shoulders rest on your knees. Or you can also extend your arms farther forward and put them into a diamond-like shape. As you breathe in, imagine you could widen your low back with your breath. And as you breathe out, let the bones of your body drop down. Now walk your hands over to the right and fold down, adding in a side stretch to your child's pose, reaching out as much as you can with your left fingertips. And again here, take in some deep breaths. Soften the shoulders even while reaching forward. Gently now walk your hands and chest all the way over to the left side. Reach out through your left fingertips and just melt down here. See if you can make your inhales and exhales equal length. Breathing in for three and out for three. on your own a few more times. Come all the way back to center. We're going to lift up into tabletop pose on hands and knees, taking a few rounds of cat and cow. So firm your abs up and in, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, and on the exhale, let your head drop, back of the neck long, look into yourself. Inhale, broaden across the chest and exhale all the way out, all the air out of the body as you round. Take a few more rounds on your own pace. If you want to, you can also let this evolve into some hip circles, inviting in some feel-good intuitive movement. Or you can keep doing cat-cow, whatever feels best for you today. Come back to tabletop pose, palms under your shoulders and reach your right arm up to the sky and then exhale, thread the arm underneath you. Let the ear and shoulder come down to the mat or to a block. Push into your left palm to twist deeper or reach it up overhead for a deeper shoulder stretch. Push into your left palm to come back up into all fours, switching sides, inhale left arm up, exhale thread it under, shoulder and ear coming down to your mat. And again, you can choose to push into your hand or reach it overhead. Don't forget to draw your navel in towards your low back.
push into your right palm to lift back up and then curl your toes under and press your hips high into downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide so that you can see the color of the mat between each finger. Make any movements here that feel good, so maybe bending the knees deeply, pressing your chest towards your thigh bones, or you can also bend and straighten one knee at a time. Let the head be heavy, sending the breath wide into your low back. Now step or walk to the front of your mat, feet hip width apart and then deeply bend the knees to fold forward. Clasping opposite elbows or interlacing the hands behind the head for some gentle traction. Imagine stress pouring out from the top of your head with every exhale, making room for your new day ahead. Good, release that. A few more deep breaths. And then begin to straighten the legs a bit more and then place your left hand underneath the face. You can also take it up on a block if you can't reach and then bend the left knee but keep the right one straight and reach your right arm up to the sky, stretching the right hip and IT band. I always like to move a little bit forward and back to find the deepest stretch. And then take your hand back down to the floor to switch sides. Take the right hand under the face, bend the left knee this time and reach the left arm up for a big stretch. Maybe move the weight forward and back in that left foot. Looking for a stretch in the outer edge of the right hip. Keep twisting the body to the side wall, taking deep breaths into your rib cage. Enjoy the stretch. Good, and then take both hands down to the floor. Breathe in, half lift, back of the neck is long. Exhale, fold. Again, one more time on your all. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, let go and fold. And then step back into downward facing dog. Press down through the knuckles, index finger and thumb and hug your abs up and in, slowly straightening the legs. Come into plank pose and hold here and then forward into your version of Chaturanga, up dog or cobra and press back into downward facing dog again pedaling through the legs if you want to get a good stretch in there let's reach the right leg up and back bend your right knee and open up that hip and then step the right foot up between the hands and lower your knee down to the floor for low lunge. Today we will keep things simple and just keep the palms down on the ground to take a few deep breaths here in this pose.
for a nice stretch in the psoas and your quad. And then shift the hips back in space, flex the foot and come into a hamstring stretch. Every inhale you lift and every exhale you fold a bit deeper. Inhale, half lift, slide the shoulders back, exhale to fold. Use your inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, folding. Good. Bend into the right knee again and step back into your downward facing dog. And you can decide this time if you want to just hold dog off love through plank, chaturanga, up dog. It's totally optional. Breathe in your dog and then lift the, le lift the leg leg up. Open up the hips, bending the left knee. And then step it up between the palms, drop the right knee, low lunge, second side. Again, keeping it simple here, hands stay on the ground. Just let the hips get heavy and breathe into the sensation. Next exhale, shifting back, left toes point up, Adha Hanumanasana, inhaling, finding length first, and then exhale, melting forward. Every in breath, ripple the spine long, and every out breath, you fold deeper over the leg. Then re-bend into that front knee, press back into your dog pose and just pedal through the legs. Inhale fully into the back body and breathe. Good, now step your left leg to the front of the mat again and then turn both feet towards the side of the mat, heels slightly wider than the feet. For a wide leg forward fold, place your hands on the floor in front of you or on some blocks, shoulder width distance apart, fingers spreading wide. You can stay here or if you want to, you can try to line up your fingertips with your toe tips, bending your elbows straight back to come deeper into the forward fold. Back of the neck is long. Press down through your heels and toes and draw up through the arches of your feet. Everything is engaged here. Take a few more breaths on your own. Ready, you can come out of this pose and just heel toe your feet together and come down to sit into a cross leg position or however is comfortable for you today. Hands on your knees, palms face down or up, however you want to. And just notice how you feel now as opposed to when you first stepped onto your mat this morning. Thank yourself for making it to your practice today. Mm -hmm. 
Let's bring the palms together at the front of the heart and maybe setting an intention for the day ahead. Positive statement. Going forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this quick morning class with me. If you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with some friends. Practice again with you soon.